Hey you guys. So today's video, I wanted to kind of sit down with you and talk about makeup brushes. You guys know I talk about makeup brushes often. It's one of my favorite things to discuss. And I think that in the past, I have kind of taught myself to rely on a gargantuan amount of brushes to get the job done. Now, as I will explain later on in the video, for good measure, I'll, I'll say this twice. Um, some of my preferences and habits towards my makeup routine are kind of deeply ingrained in me from being a pro artist. And one of those is having an abundance of brushes. You know, when you're a pro makeup artist, you're working on multiple people a day. It's a lot quicker to just have tons of dupes and doubles of brushes than have to constantly clean brushes from client to client. So I tend to rely on lots of brushes for that reason, but Long story short, let me tell you what kind of inspired this video. Over Thanksgiving, I went to Georgia to be with my friends and family, and I got all the way down there with all my makeup and all my things, ready to do my glam for Thanksgiving day, and I realized I left all of my brushes in Tennessee. I didn't take anything with me, so I ran to Ulta, picked up three kits from Real Techniques, which I will link down below, and got the whole job done for 60 bucks, I think is how much I paid for all those kits. And it ended up being like eight brushes did the whole face. And in this video, I thought it'd be kind of cool to sit down and compare and contrast the usual group of brushes that I use with a smaller, smaller, much more uh, reasonably priced set of brushes. So I hope in this video we learn how you can take brushes and use them for multiple things. You'll learn hopefully if an investment in a super expensive brush is even necessary for you. And at the very least, we will just kind of get to see if I can pull out a makeup look using very, very, very little brushes. And obviously I did because I already did the look. <laughs> The only thing I feel like I really screwed up was my nose contour and my lipstick looks kind of like crap today, but that's okay. I am struggling, okay? <laughs> struggling today. But yeah, before we get started, make sure you check the Nambar for links down on my social media platforms. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. You know you want to. And if you're not new here, hey, what's up? How's your mom and him? I am feeling the holiday fatigue today. It's just like catching up with me a little bit. I have so much on my plate, not even just work-wise, but personal stuff. There's some big changes going on in my life that are very exciting, but it's taking a lot out of me to get ready for them. So I'm a little low energy and kind of scatterbrained in this video, but love me through it. Anyway, this is a chit chat, get ready with me video, which means I will have a naked face and a three, a two, a one. Alrighty, let's start off with brows. When I do my eyebrows normally, I use a few different products and a few different brushes. I think about two brushes and three or four products. It's a little extra, whatever. Anyway, today I'm gonna to use the same amount of products, but I'm gonna to attempt to use only one brush for everything on this side of my face. And this side of the face, I will do um, whatever I want with as many brushes as I want. So to start off with, I'm gonna take an angled brush. This is the Real Techniques. Can y'all put braille or something on these that when you make this number? I think it says 315. It's a really tiny angle brush, like really, really thin. So it creates perfect hair-like strokes when I use dip brow, which is what I'm gonna do to start off my eyebrow routine with. For the other brow, I'm gonna use Anastasia brush number 12. So I'm gonna start off with the dip brow on my brush, real technique side. Also, I want you guys to know that as far as brushes are concerned, I have so many, not only because I used to be a makeup artist and you just kind of become obsessed with them a little bit, but also as a part of kind of that old habits die hard thing of being a makeup artist, you kind of get used to having a million brushes because when you're working on clients or if you have like a photo shoot, you are not gonna put a dirty brush on someone's face, I hope not. In fact, if you ever get a makeup artist who puts a dirty brush on you, that's disgusting and you should fire them. But it's easier to have dupes and multiple brushes so you don't have to wash a brush every time you use it. That's a big part of why I have so many and kind of why I wanted to make this video so I could distinguish for you guys what's necessary and what isn't for you when it comes to brushes. So now moving on to the Anastasia side. I think this side's way better personally. Like I'm able to get a better brush stroke with the Real Techniques brush because it's so thin. So I don't put dip brow throughout my entire, my entire brow because I haven't gotten good enough at it yet. Once I get to this outer corner part, I'm not able to kind of create the strokes, the brush strokes the way that I prefer. It just kind of looks like a block. So I don't prefer that. 
And then I typically move over to another product and another brush, being extra AF, you know how I do. Going into my big boy. I'm gonna be kind of cleaning these brushes off on a towel that's on my lap also, so that I'm not dipping uh, multiple different textured products into each other and trying to make it work. So if you're gonna use a smaller amount of brushes, just keep a towel or something and uh, wipe your brush off. I used to do it with my sweatpants. All my sweatpants and pajama pants were covered in makeup because I would just use my pants. <laughs> it was disgusting. So it's just an angled brush, but it's thicker. I don't know why I prefer this one. And then I use this to kind of fill in the end. Real technique side. Also, you guys, this is not sponsored by Real Techniques. It's not affiliated with them in any way. They probably have no idea who I am. And the point of this is not necessarily to try to convince you guys to buy the Real Techniques brushes, although they are really well made. It's just to illuminate for you how much you can get done with little to nothing so that when you're watching brush videos or whatever, you have a better idea of what you actually need versus what you can probably live without. Wiping the Real Techniques off, off again. I'm gonna go back into the dip brow and just do the tail. Um, my brows are weird. They kind of grow strange in the outer corner, so I kind of cut them and trim them. Otherwise, they just go straight down and it looks like my brows are always messy, blah, blah, blah. I put dip brow in the outer corner for this reason. Oh, I call it the outer corner, the tail. It's my tail. Wouldn't it be funny if humans had tails? I think about that sometimes. My tail would have like tattoos. <laughs> One side, going back into the dip brow with the ABH brush. Okay, there's brows done. So I used half of the normal brushes that I tend to gravitate towards already. Not too bad. I'm just gonna put some dip brow in. Did I say dip brow? I meant gimme brow from Benefit. I am struggling today aunt flo is in town and she is ruining my week so i always put a little bit of concealer under my brow to kind of clean it up and highlight the brow bone so i'm just gonna do that usually i use a flat shader brush like this one from morphe I always carve the underside I'm gonna do the same thing on this side with this Real Techniques lip brush, which you will see again, cause I'm gonna reuse these, like I said. I think this is 307 or 207, I can't see. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. To blend it, I always use a Sigma brush. This is the Sigma P84. To blend the other side, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush, which you'll see again. <laughs> again, I'm constantly wiping these off on my lap. For primer, I am just going to use concealer. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna blend it out using the same brush I just used. Okay, I'm gonna set my eye with a brush. It's the same brush I always set it with. So I think we're at like five now, five brushes in, <laughs> maybe more. Real Techniques brush that you will see again. I'm just gonna do a really basic look that I do all the time because that's what I did the day that I was inspired to make this video. Uh, so don't expect anything groundbreaking. It's really not the point of the video, but I don't think you guys really expect a whole lot of groundbreaking makeup from me anymore. I'm kind of stuck in my ways and I desperately want to get out of it, but I really don't know how. I think there's a small part of me that doesn't want to sit down and like learn new makeup techniques and, and styles, which is really dumb on my part, but I'm not, I'm not very inspired. So if you guys have channels or Instagram accounts you think that I should follow that I would like, I don't like like a P. Louise style makeup, don't like that at all. So nothing like that, but anybody in particular that you can recommend, I would love to know about. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my brush number one, which is my transition color. I will leave my eyeshadow brush videos and my eyeshadow videos down below if you have no idea what I'm talking about. This brush is so funny, because when I first saw it, I kind of felt like, what am I gonna do with this? And now I absolutely love it. So 
One side will be done with this one. One side will be done with this one. This is my usual brush number one. It's big and fluffy and kind of round. This one's flat and kind of densely packed, but it still works. It's so interesting to me how I can get the same effect with two completely different looking brushes. So again, I'm gonna start on this side. I'm not gonna tell you guys what colors I'm using or what palettes, cause not really the point, but I will link everything down below. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this thing. Other side. So I'm gonna go in with another brush, another color. And just so you guys know, one of my eyes is going to look different throughout this process because my eyes look different. I have two differently shaped eyes like most of us do. It's not a byproduct of the brushes, it's just my face. Other side. Changing colors and going deeper so I always change brushes uh, that used to be like my main tip I would give people when it came to eyeshadow which was change your brushes with your uh, colors but I think that once you kind of get a little better at this that rule doesn't apply so much anymore at least that's what I've learned about myself because I can do a lot with very little brushes and I did not I didn't know that about myself <laughs> until this Thanksgiving incident happened I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush to darken it up some more, just out here in the outer corner. I'm gonna take this brush. So at the very least, I hope that in this video we learn, A, that maybe you don't need as many brushes as you think you do, and B, that whatever brushes you do have, can probably do a lot more than you think. Just gotta get in there and finesse them a little bit. This is the MAC 2112, I don't know what this is. Just gonna use that to pop a little bit of highlight right here. Taking this guy. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner and lashes and mascara and everything off camera and we'll come back and do the complexion, which I feel like is where you're really gonna see how I can do a lot with very little brushes because I use so many brushes on the face. So I'll be right back to uh, show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay, moving on to my under eye corrector. This is the Becca Backlight Under Eye, I don't know what it's called. I need to get a new one really bad though, that much I do know. I always apply this, wow. And apparently way too much of it with a brush and then blend it out with a sponge. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer number 57. For the other eye, I'm going right back in with one of the eye brushes I already used. And like I told you guys, I was cleaning these off on a towel. So this is the brush I actually used in my crease. And I'm gonna apply my concealer with this, which I definitely prefer, because if you can tell, it's actually blending it out really well. My sunless tan is almost completely gone, um, so hopefully this is not too dark. This is the NARS Sheer Glow in Santa Fe. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna do this side of my face with the Smith 115 brush. For this side, I'm gonna take the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. And then I'm gonna hit it with a sponge. This is the Real Technique sponge, incidentally. For concealer, I'm gonna take this random brush that I've had since makeup school, and I'm just going to, with my concealer on the back of my hand, kind of map out everything. If you guys want like an actual tutorial on how to do a look like this, you know, where I'm actually explaining the products and the reasons and the placement and the tips and the tricks and all of the things, I will leave some down below. Like I said, that's really not the point of this hair video. 
kind of hard to figure out how to do the center of my face because <laughs> I'm trying to do it evenly on each side. I'm going to blend this using the MAC 224. Gonna blend with my sponge or absorb the excess product rather. I'm gonna take that same brush that I applied my other under eye corrector with. It's been cleaned off on my pants. Honestly, this is like the star student so far, huh? I've used it like three different times for three different things. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. My energy is so low today. I am just so sleepy. Like I said, my friggin' period wants to just ruin my life today. I really wanted to make sure I got as many videos filmed as I could before the holidays. Um, I had a lot of intentions to be like, I'm gonna post a video every other day, but it's like way harder than I expected. <laughs> I'm just struggling. I'm sorry if I'm kind of like, Ooh, today. So I'm gonna take this guy. I just like this one more in general because it does do a little bit of the blending as you go. Like I don't need that second brush for this part, I don't feel. I kind of forgot to do the center of my chin, but I'll just do that with this one now. I'm gonna blend that using this guy right here. This is the R Real Techniques 402. Really didn't even need to do this step because that one brush does it all by itself. Then I'm gonna hit it with the sponge. I'm gonna try to do my nose contour using just the Real Techniques brushes, we'll see. I didn't contour my nose on Thanksgiving because I was just hanging out with the fam, but you know. Okay, on this side, I'm going to take the, the Fenty Cheeks Out bronzer in the color Macchiato on this Wayne Goss brush, which is very expensive, but beautiful. Guess I should add that the other point of this video is to calculate the difference in the price point of these brush sets as well. Basically, I'm just stunting. I want to show you guys what I can do with little, little to nothing brush wise. <laughs> I'm gonna take the sponge to blend her out. On this side, same product, but I'm going to take this brush from Real Techniques. It's the contour brush. I'm gonna use this brush to contour my nose. I don't really know how this is gonna go, I'm scared. Okay, so this nose contour is basically unsavable. If there is one brush in my whole collection I just learned I can't live without, it's this one. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's the JD Weighty 180 and Luxie Beauty Nose Contour Brush. It's apparently a game changer because I tried to do this with something else and this is what happened, it looks terrible. It's fine though, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. So quickly set my under eyes, which I always do lightly before I bake my under eye. I have to bake certain areas of my face lightly because I'm very oily and I need it. So on this side, I'm gonna use this Wayne Goss brush. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side using this guy. This is the Real Techniques 402. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this guy. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe JH01. On this side, I'm using the RH, the Real Techniques 204. I'm gonna take Costa Rice from MAC and just quickly do a little under eye work. Gonna smudge that out with the Sigma E21. You guys are new to my channel. Like I said, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll get a better handle on what my normal routine is. Cause I don't want you to think that I'm just trying to add more brushes into this for the sake of adding more brushes. It's not true. I really use a lot of brushes. Do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna smudge it out with this one. We used this in our eyeshadow look earlier to create kind of our outer wing vibe. I'm gonna blend the edges on this eye with this Makeup Geek brush, just to kind of soften her a little bit. And on this eye, we're just gonna go in with a brush from the same kit that we've been working with. 
So for bronzer on this side, I'm gonna take the Wayne Goss 11. This side, I'm gonna take the Real Techniques blush brush. Oh, huh, that's what they call this. But I'm gonna use it for blush too, but whatevs. I'm gonna dip her in my blush, my bronzer. OMG! I have a date with like a bunch of candy, Sour Patch straws, maybe some peanut M&Ms, and a Buffy the Vampire Slayer marathon after I finish this video. I'm like on the verge of tears, I'm so tired. You guys ever get that way? Oh, I'm gonna take this. One of the brushes out of this kit or out of this little collection I have that I like the most is this one. It's really multi-use and it's so soft. All these brushes are crazy soft and I'm very spoiled by Wayne Goss brushes. I love them. For blush, I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss uh, number 14. I'm not even gonna clean this one off because I kind of like the fact that it has a little bit of bronzer on it. It'll make blending it into my bronzer even easier. You guys, I use natural light um, mostly now when I film. So if the light changes all the time and like the makeup looks different as a result of the light changing, that's why. For highlighter, I'm going to use the JH03. And then on this side, I'm actually just gonna use that setting brush that I had for my under eye area. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and do my lips and wrap this up. I did wanna mention, there's still two brushes in here I didn't use. This is the square foundation brush from Real Techniques that didn't get used. And this is the, I don't know, this is like a, a comb brush. I didn't use either of those, but other than that, I used every single one that was in this kit and I used it multiple times. Also, I didn't use this one, um, which is one I spoke about in my favorites video in particular. This is their eyeliner brush. I used a um, pen, an eyeliner pen. Is that what I'm trying to say? And, uh, this guy. I used this for my eyeliner. So I didn't get to demonstrate how good of an eyeliner brush this is because I can't find my gel liner anywhere. I love the Inglot number 77 gel liner and that's the eyeliner I used with this brush and it was like bada. It was so good, but I don't have any gel liner to test this out with on camera. But trust me when I say if you like a eyeliner brush like this, this one's really, really nice. It didn't flare out. It kept its form really well and it's super small. So it was just so easy to use. I definitely want to do a winged liner, everyday winged liner makeup tutorial over here. If you guys want to see it, thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below and I will get it going. But this was a game changer for me. So yeah, real quick off camera, I'll do my lipstick and then I'll come back to finish this up with you guys. I'm smiling so big now because it's almost over. <laughs> if you guys can forgive my technical mistakes with my lipstick and my nose contour, I think this turned out to be a pretty successful makeup job. In summation, I think what I learned throughout this, even before I turned the camera on, I told you guys this was inspired by a real life incident that happened to me. I learned that I do not need as many brushes as I think I do. I mean, I know in the hunter gatherer sense the word, I don't need any of this stuff, clearly. But uh, I do have a video coming where I'm gonna talk about why I think you should fit all the makeup you own into one bag. And a big part of like my thesis there is that professional makeup artists, like the people that y'all look up to who do the makeup of all the celebrities that you guys emulate their style, uh, they don't use a whole lot of stuff. They really don't because they don't need to. It's really the skill that they have cultivated. Real Techniques brushes are amazing if you guys are on a budget and don't want to fool with Morphe, which hands down, I do not think Morphe is really worth even what they charge. The only exception are these Jaclyn Hill brushes. I do like them, but every other Morphe brush I have tried is complete garbage. These are solid as they come and I highly, highly recommend them. But anyway, as always, thank you to the patrons. We are coming up on the end of the year live streams on Patreon, which I'm excited to have with you guys. I'm thinking about making a slight change to the book club. I'm starting to realize this month is getting away from me and I think I almost wanna save our December book club for January when we're all fresh and ready to talk about great habits that we would like to set to help us accomplish our goals and reach our resolutions. I think I told you guys in the last video, Atomic Habits by James Clear was the December book, but I think we're moving it to January. So go check out Patreon for more information on that. Once January rolls around and it's time to talk about the new year, new goals, new situations, I will explain the book club. We'll talk more about it because I keep getting DMs and comments about it. 
But yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Check the down bar. Links on my social media platforms. And I will catch you in the next one.